And welcome back to the safe mode stream of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so last time we set up a conduit by which we can take the light from the first and direct it at uh, this particular point here. Basically they say fuck you specifically and we made a hole through the void. And we're about to go into the void. Yuta Yishtola to throw motherfucker at another motherfucker. Um, so yeah, I am going to be doing this as duty support because you get like little uh, dialogue bits from the characters from doing this. So here is the party situation. Um, Varshan is our only person who can tank, he'll be our tank. Ishtola is the only person who can heal, she'll be our healer. But we have two DPS and we can only take one of them. So, uh, Jewel, I'll let you pick. Are we taking Zero or are we taking Astinian? Um, right then. Astinian it is. Nice thing with you support, instant queue times. I am your master. This is Castlevania. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, this is probably going to go a little slower ultimately than actually queuing up with the party. And honestly, queuing up with the party would probably be a really short queue time tonight box. specifically. But, um... I like, I like partying up with, uh, with my NPC tiles. Especially a story. my hand. You all at your own book. Yeah, that's also a thing. Like if, if you just kind of want to chill and be dungeon by yourself, this game generally gives you the option to do so. And they're, they've been working on adding more and more dungeons to uh, do support with every patch. I think three more dungeons were added to do the support with this patch. I don't know which ones. But uh, it does say in the No mercy!
Have you played Bard at all, Jewel? I actually don't know which class that you play. Yes, I am some sort of music. This class. will hurt. And if I if I was a good bard, I would be trying to maintain as much uptime with my uh, with my melodies as possible. The pirate thing thing. Uh, uh, breaker. I'm not familiar with the giant classes, so... I will end this boss! Yeah, you'll, you'll see that, uh... You'll see that start to go off in, uh, when we get to the boss. I mean, I could, like, I, I have enough music thing that I could be just kind of trying to maintain as much of a 100% of time as possible. If I was more hardcore, I would be doing that. I am not a hardcore player. Oh, gosh, I'm... Why not enemies? Yeah, definitely a lot of buttons. I I um I have had to reorganize my bars several times while leveling up. I kind of, I kind of find it interesting the way that um, the Joe Cat has his bar set up because, like, I just do the standard thing of like. The number one, one to zero, then minus and plus, or minus and equals. I will end this boss. But uh, Joe Cat has one, two, three, four, Q E R F, and Z X C B as his keys. So they're all like as near to the W A S D as possible. Is this all gold as good mustard? Okay, so here's how I fire this. First apply my my dots. Then I get the, the songs going in the buffs. Ah, uh, stand on triangle? Yep. I'm probably going to end up dying because, as you, as I'm sure you can guess, I've never done this before. I'm thinking, don't be carnally along to this. One song is about to end, and I pop my second one. Sure enough, I wanted to be not cardinally around to those speed. Uh, looks like he was safe. So my lower bar is full. I will end this boss. Uh, that attack that I just did is also piercing, so I could be doing damage to a lot of dudes. Right here should be safe. Oh, 
No, it was not. I didn't spot that one. Also, I have not been refreshing my dots, which I should definitely do. Let's go to the alcohol. No one is being draws out of your stats and please. You underestimate so, me! I will not absolutely that. disincentivizing getting her benefits. Bar fills, I'm going to pop a bunch of stuff. Out of my way. Thank you, safe. But because I played all three songs. Because I played all three songs, I can then uh, do a Radiant Finale, which uh, has an additional buff to it. Out of my way! If I could catch my dots in time, which I feel like I'm not doing because I'm also talking while I'm doing this. Um, I can actually refresh both of them at once with Iron Jaws. But uh, there we go. Going Moon Circle of, of Healing doesn't do me anything. As a bard, I'm looking for equipment of pain. So we're doing the memorial thing. Oh, what's going on? What once was? Okay, this will keep wearing masks would probably be way easier. Hurry, Golbez! The city is already overrun! I mean, for... It's whether you want to make it a uh, pain to control or a pain on your wrist, because I know you, you struggle with that. When you're slaying. First the villages and now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice. So I think this is a uh, memorial of uh, basically when the world was falling into darkness. Evan an MMO now, so don't I definitely have one of those two. I have the um, Logitech G600. 12 buttons. No mercy! Uh, these are also assigned to the numpad. So I can do it like that if I want to, but uh. I cannot. Will not fall here! I can also do I my primary ability out of my way. Bars on the mouse as well if I hold down the, uh, the shift button. The actual shift button on the mouse, not will not fall here. G shift button. I think we like to call it. Yeah, but I basically do that it's like the, the G shift. For king and country. Uh, the G shift on like the uh, the third button, I guess you could call. The there's a crap load of buttons on the uh, on the G shift. But uh, yeah, if I hit the third button, like hold the third button, that's G shift. Uh, if I tilt the mouse wheel right, that's the sure. So this is like the normal numpad stuff, and this is control one. Enough. 
It's a lot of buttons in all. Right? Basically 48 keystrokes. They knew we were elsewhere. Cowards. I think not. So the people who are going to benefit the most from uh, this post game, like the, the post and Walker content, is people who are big fans of Final Fantasy 4. Because, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's like, we're basic by being on the first here, uh, on the 13th rather, this is Final Fantasy 4. It literally is. Oh, G600, yeah, that's what I got. It's something that you might not realize at first is that uh, the shards of the source, of the 13 worlds that are around it, are all Final Fantasy worlds. That's where the Final Fantasy mainline, mainline games happen. And. There are definitely some of those worlds that don't exist anymore. And those are basically the worlds that uh, when their game ended, they were basically like the world was fucked anyway. It's like beyond it. Like for instance, Final Fantasy VI. Like they don't explicitly ever say this of course. But Final Fantasy VI. Um, at the end of the game, like, the world's ether is basically completely messed up for the game um, so I'm pretty sure that that's one of the worlds that has collapsed. And when a world collapses, uh, if Ether returns to the source, which results in an unbelievable calamity, and there have been seven of those so far. We did manage to barely. This one is dangerous. Have care, Golbez. Okay, so they're just fighting NPCs. I think they might have gotten a three. Yes! I don't know the 635. Right? Oh geez, what is this? These interactable stone pillars. Um that's hopefully that's good. Alright. Here I'm gonna have to try to pay attention to what the uh, what the NPCs are doing because like they are going to clue me into what I need to do. So right now they're taking positions around here, now they're stepping over right here. Okay. So I think the main thing there was just don't get uh, knocked up against. Ah! Okay. Okay. But don't get knocked up against the side. So if I stand here, should be fine. Really. Oh, jeez. I did not see that it was about to fall. Ah, no. What? Ah. Careful about where I'm standing, I think here is safe. 
Because he really has this couple of other D-Bars standing here, so... I will not hold right. back. Oh, I see. That one's, uh... Yeah, a couple of them were crumbling there. So that's your tower. So I was not paying attention. Ah, I took a hit from going out of bounds, but it's fine. At least I didn't die. My, my fall mark is gone, but I took a hit too many. Learning the bosses. That's all we can really do. Well, this is, this is basically the time in Final Fantasy XIV where everyone's gonna struggle a little bit. It's going to be real interesting when I, uh, when I end up going to Omphalos. Well, it's going to be interesting when I end up going to what comes after this dungeon. Although there is definitely a more of a possibility that, uh, because it's not really much of a, much of a spoiler, there's always a new trial that shows up in every patch. But there is more of a chance that uh, someone will have done the trial in our party than there will that someone has uh, will have done the alliance raid. Because right now the alliance raid, you can only get one loot item uh, from the alliance raid per lockout. So people are going to not be as incentivized to, you know, keep doing that. Right, so th this, this one here is just avoid ending up. Of my way. Avoid ending up offside, off. basically. Yes. Definitely, definitely felt the wind blowing past me there, but uh, Okay, well, I was lucky that time. I was not paying attention to which ones were going to fly. So we get the shift. Start running. I am of the first two. I think you're safe! I am of the oh, group. just barely. Uh, what's getting knocked down? Okay, should be good here. Right. Stack. Immediately start moving away. Okay. 
I think I got this uh, this fight more or less understood. Standing back here. Yep, perfect. Yeah, I noticed during that uh, that charging attack, um, he actually runs into two pillars. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go, but that's gonna work out anyway. I am of the first group. Okay. We did it. But they More command such here. terrible beasts boats ill. We've no time to lose. Such destruction. If only we had returned sooner. Positioning myself correctly because uh, Layton's Light is a Kona Lee. Although Layton's Light is a Kona Lee, but Shadow Bite is uh, Circle AoE around your target. So it's kind of weird. Also, original Hellhound. This hellhound's not like the other hellhounds. Oh, see, do not steal. For king and country. Out of my way. Hey, J-Bop, how are you doing? Unfortunately, you've missed most of the storyline, but, uh, and also most of this dungeon, for that matter. We still got some, some things to do around here, though. By the way, I did catch your stream, uh, last night. I was a little confused when you were playing, uh, the Mortuary Assistant, because I knew you had played that, um, Last year? Was I getting forget? Or no. You didn't forget, you just doing the different things. But yeah, last night I was not in a particularly good mood, so I I was just gonna have to I dare say we'll be faster if we split up. Yeah. Okay, we're going this way. Ah! 
Well, consider it your warm up for speed training. For that matter, I still need to start watching uh, Zero's uh, Cursed 3 LP. I was going to watch the first part yesterday, but it came out at like about the same time as you started streaming. Or as like, I noticed it around the same time that you were going to start streaming, so. But did I get that right? It's like 54 minutes? And he says there are 18 parts? Like, holy crap, how big is this thing? No mercy! I will end this boss! I'll get some time. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start watching like tomorrow. We should be getting to the last boss of this dungeon pretty soon. Oh, help me! I'm kind of tempted to use my uh, my Apex Arrow here, but uh, I kind of want to start the next boss with a full clip. Cause like, I can just uh, pop my cooldowns, including Radiant Finale, then hit Apex Arrow and be like 5% of its uh, health and damage I will not right hold from the start. That is exactly what uh, what they call a Baron, Big Deep Skinny. No one calls her that. And uh, this should be our dungeon boss. Which, if I know anything about uh, the content so far, this should. Uh, this should ring a bell for people who have played Final Fantasy IV. Hey, Golbez. Golbez! This can't be happening. Not to you. A lot of people making fists. My friend. My hero. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Turn the music up for this. So be it. 
I will fight you with all my not target strength. Durant at all. This will hurt. Ether to fortify my blade. what I figured would happen. Such savagery ill suits you. Careful there, you still. Follow you guys. You underestimate me. Out of my way. Even so, I'll not be bested. Not this day. Oh. I was solidly in that because I was not paying attention to where everyone was going. Oh. Out of my way. What's going on? Oh, okay. You've weathered this before. Let's see how you fare now. I have dropped my uh, my stack of ah fuck. Even so, I'll not be bested. Oh, not this over here. day. Then off to the side. Prepare Apparently, yourself. someone used the limit break. I guess I won't be using that. It's over, my friend. Out of my way. Now, once again, I was directly in that, but as long as I can survive another 10 seconds, I should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And 
here comes Zero, bring up the rear. Turn down the volume of the music again. Let's see what these guys have to say, if anything. to uh, reapproach these guys. No? Nothing to say? Alright. You have anything to say? No? Okay. Cast in here. Cool. And the moment I get out, someone sends me a free, a free company invite. You will never die. This I swear. Through me your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. We've been released from the memory, twould seem. Very 
forgot I was muted. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... Durante. No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation, and I will not suffer you to interfere. I think you might have lost track of what salvation is. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful, and cannot effect great change in an instant. Even so. Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. So with the Asians. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said and now prolonged the war. Fly to the moon. Let me sail into the war. Believing her every word, I struck him down and caused darkness to engulf the world. What? Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asians' first attempt at a rejoining. 
before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asians' god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived. And driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Ah, crap, he's summoning a primal. Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, bring salvation to all. So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus's awakening. Probably not, but we can sure as hell stop Zeromus. The spread arms thing is such a villain move. It kind of is. Honestly. We're going after him, aren't we? Yep. Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. <laughs> Darkest resources of moon that way Golbez and Zeromus. They are resolved to save the world and condemn yours. Are you prepared to brave the dark? Let's do it. to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing must be left to chance. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. 
Okay, but that was a badass pose. Wounded as I am, I knew that I would be hard pressed to fight you on equal terms. And so I lured you to this place where the advantage is mine. This place gives me such like cool X from Mario RPG. The right? live. This is the void. Impossible. Scarmiglione and Barbariccia were sealed in memoria, while Cagnetto and Rubicante died in the source. All good points. You're not wrong. They are not the true archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. They stole it now. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. You'll do no such thing. Join you as soon as we can. Basically, you see all of Zero's cool moves, and that is why my next class that I want to get to level 90 is a Reaper. It's never it as cool. It is too late. Zeromus will awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. It's never as cool playing as it is in the cutscenes, but you know. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Time and again, she has faced insurmountable odds. Also, I didn't follow the hole, I jumped into the hole. But no matter how hopeless things seemed, she's never given up the fight. She has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. For we believe in her, and she believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness. Something, something, friendship is magic.
Hey buddy, how you doing? Where on Fest Mountain is Fortunately, we have the power of summon seven random people to deal with this mess. Uh, can't let you destroy the barrier between worlds. Vessel fracture now accessible. Unfortunately, we don't usually get to do um, trials as duty support. So into the queue we go. Wait, 16 parties recruiting? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Hopefully it's just that, like, there's a bunch of people, like, there might be, like, a party of five, and a party of seven, and a party of three, who are uh, all queuing in. Sorry, but the seven takes a minute or two. Just wait there for, for a bit, big bad boss. See, already we have uh, our four DPS. Make that a little bigger so everyone can see. There is no guarantee that I'm actually going to be able to uh, key win to anything within a reasonable, reasonable amount of time. Hopefully we'll be able to do so just fine. Also, I don't think that... Uh, I don't think I did receive a free company, but I, I heard the sound effect that plays when you receive one. But it might just have been letting me know that I'm instanced. Because, uh, because this is uh, new patch content, they have uh, activated multi-instance on some areas. Where did our DPS go? That's rude. You tell me that uh, we're fully queued in on DPS and then they all disappear and now I have a healer in the weeks. This would definitely go faster if I was, you know, a tank or something. Oh, we got uh, two heals, four deeps. 
Need some tanks. Tanks a lot. Although something that I appreciate about the queuing system in Final Fantasy XIV is you see here, selective class bard, current class bard. So if I wanted to, I could uh, go somewhere else and maybe like uh, change into a Disciple of the Hand or Land and just do like crafting things until the queue pops. And the only requirement is once the queue pops, you have to go back to the class that you started queuing with in order to enter the, uh, the duty that you queued into. Well, it didn't take all that long. It took a, it took a few minutes, but uh, yeah. Now this is the part where I die four times in one fight. Also, you're going to hear some sound effects of people talking in the party, but uh, you're not going to see the actual conversation. Insatiable vessels of Romus. Someone saying it's the first time. I... I think that's a common theme today. Most of the party probably doesn't either. So we might end up wiping something. And that's okay. This is brand new content. Right. Yeah. Where do I stand? Over here? Just notice someone in the party named Fletcher and the color. Bosses really like to target me specifically when they're doing off tank stuff. I don't know why. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, heck. Guessing just don't touch the don't touch the green. 
And I'm dead. I don't know what killed me. Devoured by darkness resulted in the explosion of the I died again. Cool. Also, there is an HP point to move that, I guess. Okay, so this is just don't cross the streams. Stretch it out as much as possible. And a couple more people are dead. Everything is hard when you don't know what to do. <laughs> Looks like they bring back the other time. Here I come. I the stand to soak apart. Oh boy. Am I gonna be okay here? Nope. To be fair, I was resurrected while that was starting up, so I didn't really know where I was meant to be standing. It turns out that you had to go all the way over here, behind where it uh, started up. And that's white. Dead for that for that one last time I did this. Also, great use of uh, of countdown, and then you just go anyway. <laughs> also, I got a uh, stack of rice coming in. That's not great. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Through the door, can, uh, mitigate some of our damage. Move out of the way. Stand in the, in the tank buster. Stand Unless you are a tank, of course. And do you run out of that? Okay, do you run out of that? At the very least, everyone else is running out of that, so I assume that's the correct thing to do. to get this again. So don't touch the green. Run through it just like that. 
I think I died last time on that one. The fact that I'm alive means I'm doing better than the first time. <laughs> oh. I kind of missed that we were doing that. Alright, stack. Wait, what, what was I standing? I got a stack of weekend. I was I got hit by the guy. I'm not really sure what it was. I missed my cool hands. Oh, my, my dots rattle. Now I gotta put those back in. Okay, stand behind that. I guess what we want to do is kind of... Oh yeah, I see the, uh, the other thing kind of coming up behind us. Alright. Stand in the middle. Take a little bit of the pocket. And then spread out. Okay, that's enough. Probably don't stand near those rocks. so that I can uh, contribute in healing efforts at the very least. I may not be able to heal anyone, but I can help the healers. Fruder, I feel it's especially useful for one of those where uh, it's a stack sign that goes into multiple hits. I don't know if that's true, but uh, at the very least, that's how I feel. I think, uh, I think we got the hint of this fight now. Yeah. That full run of that but, uh, generally want to avoid using that unless, uh, either we need to, 
or War Games to be Yeah, you too, buddy. Feels a little more glowy now. I'm kind of worried. Also, the barrier between two worlds weakens. I feel like we're starting to run up against some rage. I don't know for sure if the boss has any rage on Mama, but uh, I think generally they kind of do. Like, not in the. But, uh, um, over here, I guess? Oh, geez. Okay, I, yeah, I did see that. I was not looking at the side. Oh. Okay, this is, uh, move over here. Yeah, there we go. That is exactly what I needed to do. Time for limit break. Yeah, I think we got it. <laughs> oh. took two tries and I didn't die at all the second time. I am happy with myself. Yeah, that sound is indicating that I'm in an instance. I am not receiving free company invites. And that's basically how primals work. Oh, except that we're also in the void, so uh, Zeromas is just going to casually come right back. Well, hello. Nice of you to drop Are in. Are right? Perfectly fine. I guess I should say Durant. I was not like all void sent. Zeromas cannot be killed. 
Sealing it in memoria is the only way. Yeah, good point. Oh, great time for an echo recall. Unleashed the darkness. And after an eternity of waiting, I find myself on my knees. How disappointed must you be in me, in the foolishness and futility of it all? No, I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. There is no triumph to be found in this madness. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. You're weak and imperfect. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? Are you sure you will not fail? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. Oh, so this is li literally a recall of like 10 minutes ago. Light? <laughs> but how? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light, it was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? It won't be easy. Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Zeroma succeeds and everyone dies, we'll never have the chance to try. You asked me to join hands with you once, and I refused. I cannot take back that mistake. But I can extend to you the same offer. We can be better than we have been.
Of course. You were the memoriate we met all those years ago. <laughs> yes, I remember now. We hoped you would join us in our quest to end the Contra Memoria. But you rejected us outright. It left both of us discouraged. Golbez most of all. If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. Not even at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he did. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister, but she may yet be saved. If you can help us see her safely home and protect the source, then... As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the Void. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? I do. So long as we work together. Zero smiling. Ah. Anyway, start, sorry for stroking off there for a second. Uh, Back now. <laughs> We will disperse Zeromus' essence once more. The instant we do, you must call to Ashdaya. Ashdaya, that's uh Understood. That's sister's name. Oh dear. She didn't repair before the fight. Zero. Don't give up. Hold fast to yourself. Look to the light within. Your place isn't alone in the dark, Zero. Not anymore. 
and then Averin also says something, but she's she doesn't have any voice lines, so. There we go. There is the thing that Averin says, you can do it, Zero. <clears throat> of course. This With this power from beyond blade. the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. And she goes Super Saiyan, apparently. This class change in the Golbez, middle of the fight. If you would make amends, then lend me your strength. <laughs> yeah, she might not be a Reaper anymore. That's okay. She's still awesome. And she's still inspiring me to become a reaper. Ashdaya! Hear my voice and return to me! Have care. Zeromus makes to resurrect. Not if I have anything to say about it. No more, fiend! There we go. Sealed in memoria. You're safe now, Ashdaya. You're safe. To my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. <laughs> we came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. F 
thank you. At long last, we shall be together again. So what have you, Goldas? Where are you going? Our world may yet be restored. I thought it an impossible dream once, but having witnessed your miracles, I cannot help but believe. Nevertheless, I am the villain who wrought this tragedy, and in my misguided crusade, I compounded my sins. My place is not at your side. <laughs> Regardless of how you may feel, by lending me your strength, you've made amends. You've earned a new beginning. It's up to you what we become to one another. What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Working together. And should we want for strength, we need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. So let's take the first step. The two of us. And that unfortunately is how Varshan dies. But Varshan was only ever basically Vritra's puppet. Vritra's still alive, although permanently down an eye at this point. Is that the real Zero? I mean, she's definitely different now. 
Maybe it is the real zero. The one that, that was not warped by, by the void. And one quest remains. And also, we can now enter the Lunar Subterrane with a party of NPC avatars. There's this whole system in this game called the Trust System. Uh, here it is. Which uh, started in uh, Shadowbringers, I believe. Uh, where you basically get every character that... Uh, Every character that you're able to party up with in duty support, they'll all start at, well, these will start at level 71, and these at level 81, because uh, you only get them at that point, and she only starts at level 90. But uh, you get to, like, level them up by doing these uh, previous dungeons. I don't discriminate my sis, bro. He, uh, she is still an asshole. I don't think it's your brother Zero. I'm pretty sure he hasn't sex changed. Although if he did, I would support it. Trans rights. It's not the same, Zero. Aww. Who's to say which one is the real, real Zero? Words cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister. Nor my gratitude to all of you. What of him? Ah, uh, he'll be fine. He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. She definitely has a lot more life in her voice now. Nay, that shall not be necessary. By his deeds hath he demonstrated his contrition. So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities, the better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, uh, speaking of which... What are we doing? From ocean rise and cloud bank form. Oh boy. From mountain spring and rainfall storm. From river flow and life be born. <laughs> Here it comes. Come forth, my servant. You're not gonna say the thing?
She didn't save a thing. Everyone is disappointed. I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. Are we clear? <laughs> okay, sure. Nidana provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection than before. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time, it will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. Already we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. When you have the chance, Please thank everyone for me. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. A lengthy list. Yeah, we've been involved in a lot of stories at this point. A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the memoria holding Xeromus. If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. An excellent idea. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's memoria to Zero? In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez, to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. Well, I mean, this Zero has definitely had a change of heart throughout the, uh, the post Walker storyline. Thirteenth is in good hands. Come what may, we will see it restored. And should we need a helping hand, I hope we can count on you once more. I think I have a way, by the way, to show to show you all what the original incantation was. Till we meet again. where we are or how much time passes our bond will endure this i believe yeah once i've turned in this quest i will uh i will see if i can show you guys oh 
quest accepted. It's not going to be a very long quest. LFG. Ajdaya and Zero are safe. Ajdaya is slightly smaller. And uh, also Zero had a class change, but um, Cute small rabbits. Zero's class change go from oh no to oh yeah. Oh, looks like we're making a couple of stops along the way. I'm gonna go talk to Eulis. Yeah, if it, if it wasn't obvious, uh, this Reunited at Last Quest is the last quest in this, uh, in this patch. Considering what time it is, I think I'm gonna call it after that. Of course, after I have, um, looked up the original incantation. I'm pretty sure I can bring it up in the, uh, how was it called, the undi Unending Journey, Unending Journey. Basically it's a book that uh, you have access to at any inn that uh, lets you recall any cutscene, and I'm pretty sure that includes that one. Oh wait, we're going to Tertium. That's this way. I was going to Camp Broken Glass. That's not where we're going. Also, something that you're... Wait, are you seeing it? No. Something that you're not seeing is um, I have received in-game mail, and uh, I guess I could go get that before I, lo before I uh, call the stream. Um, I have hit 150 subscription days, and that means I have gained some uh, glamour gear. All these people are wrapping up the, the quest too. Alphano and Alize. 
Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? Everything couldn't be better. We saved the 13th. So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the 12. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Yeshtola, ultimate nerd. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Now we'll see her again. Also, you did have an effect on her. Really? I don't remember saying anything profound. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. Well, she got a lot. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alphino. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement, that Garleans might take the lead. I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Oh, they heard us talking. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. Vacation time! You've Ooh, done break. so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. I was thinking of taking a break anyway. It's not like I like the idea of Baka. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. As an independent party, we would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alizé. 
Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelise at the Rostra and have her notify father. And nearly went the entire stream without the fridge screaming. Well, it does look like we're about to um, finish up here. I mean, we were the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. We definitely aren't anymore, Wink. Sure, it's not gonna be voice acting yet, I didn't think so. Listen, Monta Chang was very defensive in our favor. He can totally be here if he wants to. Yeah, they they gave us a forced vacation, so you know, here we are. It could have, but it didn't. Yeah, that's, uh... Hopefully we can avoid there ever being another um, Umbral Calamity. At least for as long as we're alive, if not longer. Writing reports? That's what I'm good at. Well, aside from all of the other things that she's good at. And there we go. Hey, what? There's another quest. Uh, 
I guess we're not done? Or maybe someone just forgot to list that one on the thing. Because there's only seven quests here. Maybe someone's corrected the wiki now. No, so it's a seven plus. Hey, party time, excellent. Is Thancred though? Listen, I'm down. I have delivery to make to the first. What delivery? I am uncertain. I am going to say the free food thing. Far be it for me to turn down free food. Someone's gonna remind me of the thing I gotta do in the first. That's what it is, right? The Memoria Crystal. You know, transfer light and dark. Crystarium we go. I thought we were done, but apparently not. We're almost done though. I, I am looking at the uh, the wiki and uh, specifically there are seven quests. Listen, all I hear is one more. Alrighty. Dolly, oh, yes. The king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norvrant. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. A memoria crystal. I can feel it. The tremendous darkness within. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done! Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, Darkness cannot arise of its own accord. 
much less in abundance. But if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. More info on the empty after this cutscene. Do you still have that spirit vessel with you? If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Can do. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Nabatha Reng has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, Doing her utmost to restore her own world. It inspires me to redouble my efforts. There you are. Well, hello. I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Look at this goth queen. Gaia! Oh. Hello. Do I know you? Yeah, I can believe that you don't remember me. I'll just shrug off that uh, you've forgotten me Ugh. again. I never agreed to anything of the sort. Didn't you? Besides, coffee biscuits are old news. I'd rather try something else. What? I thought you liked them too. Well, no matter. The second serving has something for every taste. So let's just go. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Marine alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, all right? So the MT is uh, basically 80% of the first. Because if we look at the map of Norvrand, uh, there we go. That's not helpful. World map. If we look at the map of Norvrand, so this is Norvrand, and everything outside of this wall is the empty and this came about because the the uh light energy the light ether on this planet got so strong that it kind of exploded and took out most of the world uh there is a um there is a raid uh, like a sequence of raids in um, Shadowbringers that basically involves trying to bring life back into the empty and that's where we meet Gaia.
because she she basically went henshin at one point and tried to uh, prevent us from doing anything. And then a lot of stuff happened, and then she lost most of her memories, but uh, she's one of the good guys now. Just that sometimes she doesn't remember as well as she used to. I'll take a time. Alright, back to Reds at home. Before we go to the party, though, at the Mega Duta, let's go ahead and pick up our mail. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy XIV. Tantalus attire. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't let me like try on multiple things, which is dumb. But this is what the top bar looks like at the very least. Maybe I can make a, uh, a Glamour card when we get back to the end. Prefer the, the open blue outfit. Actually, the open blue outfit was crafted uh, by Cell in Fox Chat. Also known as Flideus. Time for a party. Party, party, party. We're gonna have a party. Party's gonna start. I just talk to these random people. Hey barkeep, I'm not drunk enough. Sean, my darling little brother, <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. The way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Might show up a little less because that would Truly. leave him without eyes. But will it be the little one? Either one, really. Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and his superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. My little brother is little and adorable. What? 
think you've had Sisters, one too many then. Give me strength. <laughs> it is a fine thing being so loved. Like those that just sound better in Japanese. Oh, I don't doubt it. Had enough of the revelry, have you? So, what's next for our hero? Sky's the limit. No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others... Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be. But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach. And I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? Later, nerds. <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long, though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. That's a happy roar. Aww. Just step away for a bit. Uh, it's not gonna be too long before I get to that point because, like, this is actually the last quest in this chain, so don't be way too long. to start dinner. Uh, you might miss it then, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was promised this 25 minutes and six one mores. Well, it wasn't six one mores ago. 25 minutes, yes. 
I understand about that. I'm sorry. I will I will call for you when uh, when I'm about to uh to get there. Oh, I'm sure I have plenty to do. And there we go. Growing light complete. And of course, there's a cutscene after this, too. <laughs> Meanwhile, in old Charlian. It's Cryo. Everything appears to be in order. Oh, oh, finished at last. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Now then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. Is this what's going to lead us into Dondrail? <gasps> Addressed to Grandfather! And come all the way from Tuli Yolal. From a Gulu... someone. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Come on, give me something. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Hmm. Something else in here. What an unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? to the Golden City in Tural. You have not missed it. This is the, the post-growing white cutscene. Don't worry, we are going straight back to the, uh, to the inn after this. Back again already, after making a show of leaving. Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliolal, yes? Interesting. Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventurer friend. If moonlight kiss this darkened shore, a seaward drifts our gaze once more. Here we go. Oops. 
Back to New Gridania. The two more things before the end of the stream. One is we're going to try out that gear we just got. Make a glamour card. And two, we're going to go check out that cutscene with the original incantation. Okay, let's get some glamour prisms. I will need four. So I'm going to be stored in an armoire. Okay, well, still going to store it as glamour. Uh, which piece am I missing? It sure isn't a weapon. Breeches, cuffs, vest, shoes. Yeah, there we go, boots. Oh, I actually need to make a glamour plate now. Uh, so, filter. It's case sensitive because, of course, it is. Well, that's a cute, uh, cute outfit. Can't say that it's exactly your style, but you know, it's still a cute outfit. Okay. So now I have to remember where this is. Might take a few tries. I think this is the one. Right, here we all are. You discovered something new. I took a closer look at that device. I was able to determine I hope how this it is keeps the, one the void gate sealed, but not how it might instead be employed to expand the opening. For that, I would need to reference the technique developed by Vritra's alchemists. No records of which appear to have survived the intervening years. We know this, so why have you sent for us? Have you learned aught of value or not? Patience, good sir. One must introduce the subject before launching into specifics. From what we understand, travel between worlds is accomplished by passing through the nebulous rift which exists between them. Picture, if you will, the moment you were called to the first. You touched a focus of some kind to help the Exarch pinpoint your location. His summoning spell then channeled the energies of the Crystal Tower to begin your journey to his world. The magics tore a hole in the wall separating Source and Shard and cast you into the intervening nothingness. 
In that place, the laws of nature hold no sway. Yet even through this realm of temporal and spatial instability, you were born safely to your destination in the first. The feet that guided you across such an unimaginable distance, both physical and metaphorical, was nothing short of a miracle. What of the many voids sent found in the source? Who guides them here, and how? An excellent question. Though there are several methods by which the Void's denizens might intrude upon our world, the rituals of summoning are the most typical. For example, let us consider the Gargoyle, a creature of middling power. Okay, that was not the correct cutscene, but I'm pretty sure this is the correct, uh, quest. Wait. You said that Voidsent must be called here deliberately by someone in the source, reeled in like a fisherman with his catch. Exactly. For a being to navigate the chaos of the rift, with or without form, there must needs be a guiding agent on the other side. This is the correct location where it happens, and it seems like the correct complement of people, too. the forth from Alag's Great Gate, it was the technologists who drew them through. Though to my knowledge, planar fissures are in essence natural passages between our world and the Void, which require no such guidance to traverse. Why is only the boundary between the Source and the Thirteenth so fragile? So much so that it often tears open of its own accord. I believe solving that mystery is key to understanding travel between the source and its reflections. And how do you intend to get your answers? No. The danger is too great. Perhaps. But what some call danger, others think of as adventure. <laughs> Were you not listening to my tale? Never mind that the means to expand the gate has been lost to the ages. Even could you force the portal wide enough, you would be greeted by an army of murderous horrors the very instant you step through. I assure you I was most attentive, and I agree that to go alone would be certain death. But if I were to bring along one who has already braved the Thirteenth, and humbled the Cloud of Darkness, well, I imagine my chances would be much improved. Since when were you one for the quiet life? I don't think this is the correct quest. Once again, I put my life in your ever-reliable hands. That said, as much as I would like to march straight back to the Void Gate, there is the small matter of being unable to open it without the Sartrap's personal authority. As I've said before, I will grant you and yours any boon you choose to name, provided it does not endanger my people. You have my word that we will take every precaution. Not a single void scent will be allowed to threaten Radzat Han, assuming we manage to expand the portal in the first place. You have a plan. Actually, I had hoped you might help us with that. 
I presume the alchemists you retained supplied you with some explanation of their methodology. That they did. House Daimir was overseeing the project. Daimir. Daimir. Ah, yes. The family associated with the great work. Yeah, actually, I'm going to start skipping through this. Because I don't think this is the correct one. I did one. not... I've... A man may... Yes. If that's true... Yes. Yes. In which case? Yeah, we're going back to Charlian. Ah, uh, this was not the correct quest. Recommending deliver the flask of astral aspected water to Ishtola. No, this is in the Numenon. We're close. I know that we're close. The ruins a long way. It may. My, There's only so many quests in 6.1. Okay, this is this is the scene. This is the scene, guys. We're here. We're here. What is it this you're is doing a, now? I am 100% sure. There's something I wish to verify. The Noah reports claim that a short stint into the void carries little risk of etheric imbalance. Should one suffer an injury, however, or if one's expedition drags on longer than intended, that risk becomes significantly greater. Graha theorized that a warding scale would confer protection from the void's corrupting influence, but I would prefer to test that hypothesis before we set foot in the 13th ourselves. So, this is an experiment of sorts. Yes, an experiment. Tell me, how would you go about testing the efficacy of the warding scale? Very good. I see you've been paying attention. As Vritra sent his simulacrum, so too shall we rely on a familiar to bear the brunt of any unpleasant consequences. Here it comes. Now, a lowly imp can navigate a fissure, no matter how narrow. Which means an arcane entity of similar stature should be able to manage the same. I hadn't wanted it to come to this, but no other familiars will do, I'm afraid. I mislike the sound of that. What manner of fiend does she mean to summon? <laughs> I mean, we've seen the creature already. Look Don't at the smile. Rise and Cloudbank form. From mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Water, water, froth and fire! There it is. <laughs> Ready your arms. 
I fear she's been possessed. <laughs> oh, come now. That was adorable. <laughs> no, not my first choice. These familiars I conceived of as a child have the best chance of fitting through the gate. I only wish my younger self had considered a more dignified ending to the creation ritual. Yes, you, you can go. In any case, path. these two should serve as well. Have a good night, J-Pop. You know, you know when the next stream is, and next week is gonna be lost in time. And when they return from the 13th, and we can observe how the talisman. Body, body, blah. And a dang way. So yeah, I am gonna call it with that. I was going to do the the third part of the unfollows uh alliance raids but it's it's too late for that at this point so thanks for joining me on this journey uh the next scheduled stream is going to be on sunday at uh, 8 p.m or later atlantic daylight time it is the sunday super shuffle i do some more art bell shenanigans that takes us around the week around the wheel to our next uh, Tuesday stream, which is going to be another uh, safe mode stream. Um, and like I mentioned, I am going to be playing through Lost in Time, which is a um, another graphical adventure game. This one's by Cocktail Vision. Uh, I think it was released in 1994 or something around that. And it has really dumb answers to puzzles. Uh, so this is basically I wanted to show that as kind of a counterpoint to uh, the longest journey. And then after next week's Tuesday stream, we're going to be having a vote on what the next long run stream is. So make sure that you are around for that. So that's going to do, that's going to do it. Thanks to uh, everyone ha for hanging out. Uh, J-Pop, Jewel, Alex. Anyone who might be um, lurking out there. I'm cool here if you don't know. And froth and foam. <laughs> <laughs>